Why did Steve Jobs send this email to himself not long before he passed away? And why is it possibly the most important email he ever sent? In September 2010, the CEO of Apple woke up in the middle of the night and sent himself this. And what it says is pretty incredible. Now, I don't know about you, but Jobs has a pretty amazing story and it's worth listening to. Consider this fact. Steve Jobs went from co-founding Apple in his parents' garage. Then he was forced out of the business he helped create only to finally return and propel Apple into being one of the most successful companies in human history. That's a lot to accomplish in a lifetime. And yet, barely a year before he died, Jobs had this to say. I grow little of the food I eat, and of the little I do grow, I do not breed or perfect the seeds. I do not make any of my own clothing. I speak a language I did not invent or refine. I did not discover the mathematics I use. I am protected by freedoms and laws I did not conceive of or legislate and do not enforce or adjudicate. I am moved by music I did not create myself. When I needed medical attention, I was helpless to help myself survive. I did not invent the transistor, the microprocessor, object-oriented programming, or most of the technology I work with. I love and admire my species, living and dead, and I am totally dependent on them for my life and well-being. Now, many have called this message profound, emotional, and possibly even the greatest email ever sent. So what exactly makes it so inspiring? Well, maybe it's because Steve Jobs touches on the intricate web of human interdependence. He acknowledges that he didn't accomplish his achievements in isolation. His success was built upon the efforts of countless people and generations before him. And you gotta think about that for a minute. The iPhone, the iPad, the Mac, these groundbreaking innovations were not solely the result of one genius mind. They were the fruits of collaborative efforts spanning not only disciplines, but generations. Now, does this mean that Steve Jobs was somehow inconsequential to this very complex effort? Not at all. He played an incredibly important role as an inventor, a risk taker, an entrepreneur. He saw the possibility of something that could improve the lives of billions of people, and his vision and persistence was the linchpin to all of that. The real question is, what allowed for all of this to take place? And the answer to that is the marketplace. Because ultimately this complex thing we call the global economy is not a machine, it's not an engine or any other metaphor that's commonly used. It's us. It's millions of people with different dreams, experiences, and skills, all able to work towards something. Not because some central authority dictated it or government bureaucracy decided it should exist, but because we all want to make a better life for ourselves and the ones we love through our own efforts, work, and ideas. And that is exactly what the creative, competitive, and ultimately cooperative nature of a free market allows for. The opportunity for each of us to improve our own lives by working to improve the lives of others.